welcome to my channel. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. The first time you're watching me, and I am here in Japan, and this is my last day today. And today's plan is I'm going to Uniqlo to buy a sweater for me. But I'm not sure if I will buy something or not. So that's the plan. And then I will be going to Akihabara. It's another place in Tokyo. But I am still not sure if that plan is going to happen. But yeah, that's the plan. And that's good. On the last day of my trip, I'm finally here at Uniqlo to buy a hoodie because it's so freaking cold. Oh my god, if I had known the Uniqlo is so much cheaper than in Thailand, I would have come the first day. It is so inexpensive. I I bought this hoodie in this color and it's so soft and it's only 2990 yen which is like which is around 664 baht and in thailand if you buy this you will have to pay around 2000 baht they also have so many of these ones for that much only uniqlo is super cheap here i i am at a uniqlo which is in a train station it's not the biggest store but it's so 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 inexpensive that i am amazed i bought and i'm already wearing it let's go to akihabara we're waiting for my train from Shibuya Station to Akihabara. I saw what the mood is here. Thank you for riding. I'm here at Akihabara. The, I came down from the train station and went inside this mall. Uh, I don't know. I'm not very sure about this is the place I wanted to go. So go and check it out. Yeah, this is the place I am here at the electronic place. They are selling phones, iPhone and different other items. So I will go around and show you. They have items according to different brands. Most of them are written in Japanese, so it's a little difficult. They have Apple Watch or bands, neck covers. And the funny part was that they were making an announcement in Thai. Uh, they make announcements in Japan in Chinese, English, but it was the first time that I heard in Thai. This is also they had like iPad. They also have like a luxury area where the they have original covers from different luxury bags, Michael Kors, Lamborghini, Audi, uh, yeah, 
what else? Mercedes, BMW, Ferrari, Guess, Adidas, New Balance, I will show you one. These are divided according to the uh, brands here and here are the phone covers. So these uh, were a little more expensive because these were original. These were like 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 yen. Um, yeah, and you can do your converse, conversions into your currency. But yeah, these were like the Mercedes, Lamborghini, the sports car things. And they, in this shelf, they had like more of a fashion designer brands like uh, Michael Kors, a lot of Michael Kors, MKs. And then they had Guess and yeah. A few different ones that i could not recognize from i also saw i think louis vuitton but i'm not sure um yeah they had kate spade like kate spade is a pretty um uh, common brand these were like 5500 yen 6800 yen uh, it was around from 3500 to around uh 7000 8000 yen and yeah they had like more adidas new balance and stuff like that these were like Rianda, some kind of brand. I'm not sure. Yeah. They had like more florals. Rianda. Okay. Some more. What is this? What brand is this? Ah, Diesel. See, I'm blind. Like more Diesel and other stuff. It was really like actually pretty cool. Fifteen Pro Max is also way cheaper in Japan than in Thailand, so it's quite a shock. I was thinking, I was hoping Japan is expensive. The door also electronic door lock. Yeah, I guess. Then I found a place of completely designer wardrobe, like designer bags, designer watches, and these amazing, uh, like Louis Vuitton, Burberry, uh, Michael Kors, Guess, uh, Gucci.
Moving on, then they had these uh, designer perfumes which you could really test. I think these were uh, priced at a lower price. And then moved on to the camera section, moved on to GoPro section. They had a lot of uh, different types of varieties of GoPro, the latest versions and everything. And I checked out a few cameras. It was really cool. Um, they also had DJI. I actually own a DJI product the dji osmo it's like a digital like a tripod which is really cool and then yeah look at the different products i was really amazed like how many types of electronics this mall had like the, every uh, floor had a different uh, you know speciality some home products like electronics some bags some uh, stationary computers like that like every floor was um like divided into different products like this was the joystick for the games and stuff like that and look at this tripod heaven look at me i was shocked to see so many tripods it was like i am in a tripod forest or something it was pretty cool and yeah this was like the gaming tripod area then we moved to another floor sony except for sony which is very cheap here Every all the TV in Japan is more expensive than Thailand, but the other electronics and everything it's really really cheap. People are going to Thailand and everything to buy, but thinking that Japan is expensive, but it's not really true. Japan is really not that expensive. You know, Thailand market is so much more expensive than Japan. This is a water stand. I'm bad for that. Then we moved on to this section which has like toys like animes and all those. This is like a Japanese Barbie. Look at my face after looking at her. I look like I am I've been through better days and the Barbie in front of me like the Japanese doll in front of me was so pretty. Uh, anyways, they had a lot of vid video games here and a lot of Barbie items. Don't know what to call. They had a whole Mario section. I was so happy to see. I really wanted to buy this mushroom. And then they yeah they had like Super Mario uh, stuffed animals and all of it. I wanted to buy a big Mario stuffed animal, but whatever. Then after coming out of the mall, went to McDonald's. Had this Japanese version of this burger. It was super delicious. Then it was time for me to try the viral Japanese frozen smoothie. If you want to see how I made it, uh, I actually have a shots uploaded on my YouTube. You can go to the shots and check it out. It's pretty cool, and I can assure you, it tasted heavenly. Like I wanted to have it. That's the only thing that I crave. Next, went to this souvenir store. I still had a few souvenirs to buy for my friends and family, so I went to the souvenir store where I bought some stuffs. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for this day. I did not have anything else planned. I will just show you around. I was just walking around Akihabara. You can find you can find your second hand phone shops and all those electronic things. If you're interested in those things, you do it. But if, what we notice that iPhone 15 Pro Max. Yeah, they available. don't. They don't have and iPhone. It is available. It's very expensive. The official price of 15 Pro Max from you know the legitimate stores. It's actually very cheap. It's around 97,000 Indian rupees. So yeah. They have a lot of secondhand shops here and these are the secondhand prices for macbook uh i found a macbook which was only for six thousand baht and yeah after checking out this is at night going back to the airport we had to walk from the uh what is it our hostel to the train station which was a little too far because uh the airport we had to for airport we had to change like two trains uh so yeah this is our train early in the morning and everyone on the train was going to the I airport in security everything is done going for immigration i have taken my umbrella that i bought from 7-eleven they have allowed it my security and uh, immigration everything is done it was very easy very quick and now we are heading towards the flight which will board in an hour we still have an hour yeah let's go I'm hungry also, I will eat. Oh, yeah, yeah, I am going to, I forgot to mention that uh, my I have a transit in China for around 18 hours, I'm not sure. 11 hours? Ah, 
transit in China for 11 hours in Shanghai and then from there I'll go to Bangkok. I'm not sure if they will allow us to get out of the airport in Shanghai or not. And let's go and see. We are boarding the flight now. We are already late. I got a little carried away while buying chocolates from the which I got from the duty free. So yeah, we are boarding the flight now. Hi guys, so I am here on my flight for Shanghai, uh, but I wanted to show you. I got a window seat. I wanted to show you this uh, this chocolate. I saw this uh, chocolate voice in a K drama called Strong Girl the Boom Soon, and I always it, it, it had a very cute scene uh, in the drama when the two main kids were eating this, and I really wanted to try it since it looked so nice and i found it here in the duty free section and i got it immediately it was for 800 yen so i'm going to try it now this is the chocolate this is how it looks oh my god it's the same exact one but the problem is they should give us steak they used to be i saw they were eating it with a steak but i don't have any i don't know how to eat this but yeah we'll figure it out and i will show you This was the exact reaction they gave in the drama and oh my god it's the best chocolate I've eaten till date. Super yummy. Okay, I will see you in Shanghai now. it was chicken rice some veggies a sweet and bread with butter they also gave coffee which i had and finally uh, we were in shanghai after like two and a half hours and we landed in shanghai it i was feeling so uh, different the feeling of landing in japan was so much more different than in china because i was really hoping at this point if i could go out of the airport or not but that's for next video stay tuned i will share a lot so see you tomorrow in china bye